Hi. Hey guys, what's up? So for those of you who are new here, my name's Frank and this is a monthly series I do all about my Twitch and YouTube analytics going back all the way to when I started about a year ago. And uh, it's really just a way for me to talk with you guys about how many viewers I got, how much money I've been making, how my YouTube's been growing, and my overall thoughts about my last month on Twitch and YouTube as someone that's been going at it for a while now and I've learned a lot. And I think this month specifically has a lot of things that we can learn and take from. So hopefully for those of you guys who are on your own journeys or those of you who are just interested in someone doing their own journey as well, Sit back, relax, and let's talk. Also, for anyone who is interested and wants to see more content like this about kind of a journey of growing a Twitch and a YouTube channel, along with some interesting topics around just gaming and really, really general things that I'm interested in, make sure to absolutely pulverize <laughs> that like button and to subscribe if you enjoy the content go check me out on twitch i stream monday wednesday friday at 4 p.m pacific standard time and also saturday sunday around 12 so if you guys want to roll through i'd love to see you but without further ado let's get started so this is my 14th month on stream june 2020 and before we get into my thoughts and opinions on basically how this month went Let's talk a little bit about just the general analytics first. So as you guys can see, this month I averaged around 16 viewers. Um, Twitch updated their UI as well, so it shows days you didn't stream. I didn't actually get zero average viewers these days. This is just days that I didn't stream. So it shows the entire month now, which I actually like. On top of this, I got around 6,000 live views, up a little bit from last month, um, and almost 400 followers, which is quite a bit, especially for um, the amount of average viewers I was at this month. And then on top of this, I got around 34 subscribers. Most of these were all just single subscribers. I didn't have very many gifted subs uh, this month specifically. I did on one day, um, but besides that, there was it was mostly just people um, kind of coming in on their own volition. Um, and overall, that resulted in around $125 um, in revenue this month. Obviously, after taxes, that's going to be a little lower. But overall, it was a solid month, I would say. Uh, obviously, I've been on a little bit of a downtrend for the past three months. For those of you who don't know, around three months ago, I peaked on my stream career. I was averaging around 24 uh, viewers that month. Uh, I had almost 11,000 live views, <clears throat> around 500 followers. And that was around my peak. But recently, as I've gotten more variety uh, in streaming and playing a lot of different games and kind of just trying to do what I want to do as opposed to whatever will make me grow fastest. It's definitely stunted, uh, I guess, the growth I did have. But overall, uh, I think these are pretty decent stats and I kind of want to dig more into each of them to talk with you guys about what I've learned this month. So first of all, one thing you might notice is that my average viewership kind of goes up and down quite a bit this month. And a lot of the reason for that is really just whatever game I'm playing and what I'm doing in that game. <clears throat> so for example, on Monday, June 1st, I got around 19 average viewers playing Fortnite and doing what, you know, my viewers are used to. But just come a few days later, Friday, June 5th, and I averaged under 10. For a lot of the stream, I was sitting under 5. And that's because I was playing Valorant, right? A game maybe that my viewers don't specifically like as much. And, and, and overall, I've, I've noticed, depending on what game I play, even within the same week where I have the same attitude and things haven't really changed much, much, it can vary drastically. Here you can see on this Friday, I got 12 average viewers. This Sunday, I got 24. And this Sunday, I got 31. Um, another thing I did is I used to always have, uh, I would play with people every Sunday. So that would be the day we all come in and do like community events. I actually started changing that though, because I realized I would get so many followers on days like this where I average high viewer counts, everyone was coming by, um, playing games of Fortnite with me. Um, but the issue with, with it was, <clears throat> as I've gotten so many followers from these Sunday streams over the past really six months, I've realized barely any of them uh, stay and are retained whenever I do anything else that I'm interested in doing on stream, whether that's just chatting, playing new games, or things like that. And I realized I'd rather use that day <clears throat> to kind of foster getting more of those people, followers that actually carry over to more average viewers. 
Yeah, if you understand that. So really, for for me, overall, this month, um, besides that, though, I got a lot of followers. I, I, I made a decent amount of income. As I always say, income's the, the last amount of my worries here. As long as I'm making over 100, I should be able to afford my editor every month, uh, which is what I want, you know, want to do. That way, it's easier to grow my channel on YouTube and Twitch. <clears throat> um, but besides that... I, yeah, I really think it just comes down to realizing that the game you're playing and the community that you're tailoring your content to can have a huge effect on uh, your, your growth. Uh, if you're targeting a younger audience, it, it can make it easier early on, but it can make it really hard to, to move on to, I guess, more uh, different types of content that you're interested in. If you're tar targeting an older audience, it might be hard to get them to come in, but once they're there, their property will give you more support. Um, yeah, and it's interesting to just kind of see through my analytics and, and my journey the differences in how you foster a community, how that can affect you long term and for long term growth. And it'll be an interesting thing to kind of uh, keep looking at as I continue to grow my channel in new ways and see what works and see what doesn't. <clears throat> but now let's jump over to my YouTube analytics as well before we have some finishing thoughts. All right, guys, and here are my YouTube analytics for June as well. And as you guys can see right off the bat, this is by far the biggest month I have had on YouTube specifically. I had almost 7,000 views just in this month, almost 500 watch hours, which just obliterates every other month I've had, and almost 200 subscribers in just this month. And I kind of want to talk with you guys how I did that and how my growth suddenly started blowing up on YouTube and what I want to kind of do to see if I can keep up that momentum. So basically, overall, the reason this happened, as you guys can kind of tell from this graph, is mainly from one video I did. And that video was my PS5 versus Xbox Series X and why Xbox will win. And uh, I, I think this video did very well for a lot of reasons. It actually got to around two and a half thousand views in just one week, which is insane for my channel. Um, and, I, and I think it comes down to a lot of reasons, like I said. One, the thumbnail is very catchy, as you guys can see. Um, the name is very um, catchy, and it makes you want to click. It makes you want to see. And I think the video was well filmed. Uh, I, you know, me being on camera there, I, I think I connected with a lot of people, not only in terms of what I was talking about, but my personality. And that video alone got me over 100 subscribers um, and really shot my channel up. All my other videos started doing slightly better after that as well. And, and that started to die down. But as you can see here, I went from <clears throat> averaging under 100 views per day, sometimes over, sometimes under, um, all the way up to 900, 600. And that, that has slowly come down all the way back to my mean. But as you can see, it's also picking up on certain days as well. When I'm releasing new videos, it, they're tending to do a little better than they did before. Um, and hopefully this kind of momentum can carry through. But I wanna talk a little bit about why I was able to do this because I don't think it's specifically just because I made a good video that a lot had a lot of average view duration where people enjoyed watching the video um, and, and, and watching me. I, I think a lot of the reason I was able to pull this off is because of the consistency at which I've been uploading videos. I've always said to people watching my stream that you wanna focus on quality over quantity, but if you don't have quality yet, you gotta focus on quantity. And what I mean by that is I'm still learning how to edit better. I'm still learning how to make better YouTube videos, how to make better thumbnails, how to do SEO better. And as much as I wanna just make one dope video per month that's really high quality that you guys love, right now I'm not ready for that. I need to make <clears throat> more videos. <clears throat> I need to make more videos. I need to put more effort into learning how to edit, to learning how to make thumbnails and things like that. And right now I'm shooting for two videos per week. And I've been able to hit that now for over a month. And even just doing that for this one month has really grown my channel. I started doing it halfway through last month and now carrying it all the way through a full month, I've really seen the success on YouTube that it's given me. Going all the way from around 620 subscribers all the way to 800 essentially is insane for me in one month. And I really hope that if I just continue to make videos I'm interested on and continue to make them better and better, this type of video that blows up will happen more and more often. Because it's still hard to really understand what the YouTube algorithm wants. If you guys actually want a good example of that, if we go to my videos, after that video blew up, I started making multiple videos on Xbox. So here you can see another Xbox video, around 162 views, a lot of comments. And then this one here that I just released, 232, quite a few comments. Um, and overall, it's, it's hard to know. I, I even tried to tailor this video to look exactly like the last one to see if it would blow up again, but it didn't. 
Um, and it's hard to realize what YouTube, you know, plans in its algorithm and what it doesn't. But overall, I think as long as I keep making better content, I keep doing things I'm interested in, and you know, I keep trying to connect to the audience, I think I can continue to grow like I had this month. It might be hard to get another big video, but it'll eventually start happening more often. And from there, I'm sure we'll, you know, grow exponentially. Uh, so yeah, that's really my analytics though for this month on stream. Um, it's pretty interesting to see as well. One uh, video I released <clears throat> back in May, the System Shock one is actually the second biggest. Um, that was another big video I had. And overall, uh, yeah, I hope I can just keep up the momentum. Um, I got a lot of click-through rate this, this month, a lot of impressions. Um, in terms of my engagement, um, a, lot, a lot more watch time. My average view duration was around four, uh, four minutes, 20 seconds. Uh, hashtag 420 blaze it and uh yeah so it looks uh it's looking pretty good um i'm pretty happy with where we're at and uh yeah uh, that, that that seems about about good all good for my youtube analytics guys let's let's talk about it so yeah guys those are my analytics for my 14th month on stream and more than anything i think this month shows how important it is to diversify so for those of you who don't know, I actually have even more than just Twitch and YouTube. My, my TikTok actually has been getting a lot of views this past month as well. I'm, I'm now around 13,000 uh, uh, know, followers over there. And, and as much as you want to focus on one platform, and for me that's Twitch, it's important if you truly want to grow as a content creator, you need to be everywhere you can. For example, this month, my Twitch, it's still falling a little bit. I'm still trying to regain that momentum I had and start to grow again, which it kind of feels like I'm about to get there. But in the meantime, my YouTube's been growing fantastically. I had a really big video that did really great. The comments were amazing. People love the content, which is good to hear. Um, my TikToks have been, you know, doing quite well. I've been trying new content there. My Instagram's been finally growing. My Twitter's been finally growing. Um, and overall, diversification is key because you never know that one thing that'll blow you up. I might get one raid on Twitch that helps me blow up. I might have one YouTube video like I just did blow up 10 times more and get me really big on YouTube. I may have a TikTok that does so well that I'm suddenly at 50,000 followers and I can start migrating those people to my Twitch and my YouTube. And overall, you just have to be on as many platforms as you feel comfortable with, making content that you're interested in and just working on making it better. I think consistency is key as well from what I found. Uh, uploading twice a week on YouTube really seems to pump the algorithm up. Um, it, it just gets your face out there way more and you have way more content to kind of grab from for people to gravitate towards. Um, and yeah, and over and overall, I think I think in terms of Twitch, um, I've tried I've tried to identify things for why the falls kind of happened for three months straight. Um, but overall, it, it, it's really hard to say, and I think it really comes down to I, I'm a, I'm a different style of streamer um, than when I first started. When I first started, I I was very bombastic. I was very uh, loud constantly. Um, you know, just because it was new. Um, and now, now I try to be more introspective. I try to be more um, in depth with my discussions and conversations on chat. And I, I still wanna have that fun side, but I've definitely changed. And, and with that comes struggles to grow again. Um, but I think long-term, the strategies that we're employing now, hopefully we can look back on this video in the future and, and see that it really did help us grow a lot um, and kind of come to a new spot. But thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope it's interesting for you to kind of see the journey of someone that's trying to grow a YouTube, uh, a, you know, a Twitch, uh, a TikTok, and, and just become a content creator and, and see their journey, especially for those of you out there who are on the journey as well. And I hope it inspires you guys to work hard, uh, try new things, and really just get to the top. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, go check me out on all my other socials if you want to support me. But I appreciate you all coming out today. I will see you all on the next one.